Hi guys. Well, welcome back. Well, I should say I'm welcome me back. I'm back here. Um, in the city. Um, back home. Made it safe. Uh, it's pretty cold for me. Freezing my butt off. So I'm just kind of going for a walk. Uh, I wanted to uh, just say thanks to everybody for all the support and you know all the thoughts all the well wishes really appreciate it um thank you pamela for all the kind words <coughs> uh, i do have a little bit of a cough <clears throat> not much just mostly like clear in my throat type of thing <clears throat> i spent the past day in bed just sleeping because the time difference is really tough check out this guy that guy he's going paddle boarding so that guy's going paddle boarding <laughs> it's crazy no way i'm getting in the water here so cold so this is the mystic river uh, it's kind of famous we've never heard of the movie the mystic with sean penn it's kind of like based on based on this stuff um uh, a lot of <clears throat> college kids in this area it's near Tufts University hopefully you can hear me pretty good I didn't bring the other camera this is my phone which doesn't work that well um, I'm still a little shy when it comes to vlogging over here people look at you like you have three heads but it's kind of normal in the Philippines <clears throat> so I got to um I got to fly, so I had a fly from Panglao to Manila, which was pretty easy. The airport, you go straight in, in Panglao, everything is very small, very simple. Uh, I got on my plane, the plane was on time, and then I made it to Manila in like an hour. So I got to Manila. <coughs> And I'd never really been there before. I mean, I never have been there before. And you know, it's kind of crazy with all the virus stuff. So, I um, I got, you know, I got out, got my bags, and then I had to take a taxi to Terminal 1. And so I was a little worried about that. But it's no big deal. I got into a metered taxi right outside the gate, right outside the airport. 10 minutes, I was at the next terminal, um, and it was a zoo, oh my god, the lines, just to get to the counter, oh my god, and so, it's a funny story, because, I so my flight home from Manila to Boston was Philippines, I mean, from Manila to New York, was Philippines Airlines, first of all, I want to say, what a great, what a great experience, uh, what, a, what a nice airline, the people were great, the flight, the plane, so smooth, everything was great. Um, so the story, the funny story is, I so I booked my flight, and then I got an email from Philippines Airlines shortly thereafter, saying that I'm eligible to upgrade to a business class seat. You know, you have to bid on it, you put a bid in, and you can bid whatever you want. <laughs> um, I, I didn't really know what to think of it, you know, I'm like, really? Is this, is this true? So, I put a bid in on a business class seat, not much, but, and they say that they'll notify you 24 hours before the flight if, if they, if your bid gets accepted. So... Sure enough, 24 hours before the flight, my bid gets accepted. I couldn't believe it. So the plane itself was pretty full, but the business class was, was only, I would say less than half full. So, So I got to fly in business class on the way home. Oh my God, what an experience. 
I loved it. So the business class experience, well, it was something else. My first time, um, and oh, it, was, it was so great to have your own basically cubicle. So it's like a cubicle. You have it all to yourself. I had no, I had no one on the side of me. There was only one person behind me and no one in front of me. <coughs> so it was really, it was really good experience, and I didn't have anybody coughing on me. No one sitting next to me. So, um, yeah, the seat. I mean, I mean, first of all, it's like you sit down. The minute you sit down and you're being offered a glass of champagne. Uh, the food was okay. Still, no matter how much they try to make it nice, it's still airplane food, no matter what. But the seat, oh my God. I basically reclined my seat into a bed position and I slept the whole way. It was awesome. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'll tell you guys right now, there's no way I could, in real life, I could afford a um, business class seat. This was just a kind of a, uh, a coincidence, you know, a lucky, lucky coincidence. So, that was, that made the trip so much easier. So I get to New York, JFK, and I've never been to that airport either. And to go, to get around there, you gotta get on the Air Tran, which is just a train, trolley. So that, that took me some time to figure that out. Because every time I ask somebody where to get the budget rental, they just point, they just point, they don't really tell you anything. So once I figured it out, I was able to get on the Air Tran. Five stops later, it took me right to the budget rental. Got my car, hopped in the car, and three hours later, I was home in bed. So, I can tell you that it's so weird being back here, um, driving. It's like, I feel like I'm driving for the first time in my life. I don't know why. The roads, I'm not used to the roads anymore here. Um, what else? And this whole virus thing is out of control. It's like the world is coming to an end. My God. Uh, you know, people here are panicking, you know? I should have stayed in the hole, but I had things to do here. I really have, have to get some stuff done. I can't, I can't wait any longer. <clears throat> If I'd have went home in November, my with the first time I was supposed to go home, I wouldn't have had to come back here. Uh, so, but I'm back here and dealing with it. The hole is on lockdown. I think they're gonna lock down Massachusetts pretty soon. Uh, and people are cleaning out the grocery stores. <coughs> you can't even get any bottled water. I mean, to be honest with you, I would have been much better off in, in the Philippines than I am here. But I'm here, and I, I gotta make the best of it. So, back here in the car, back in the old Toyota Corolla, guys. Oh my God, I can't believe this thing is still running. It's got 100, 120,000 miles on it. <clears throat> back and forth to South Carolina or Boston, I don't know how many times a year. This is uh, Tufts University over here on the right. Uh, I don't know what they're building over here. It's a lot of new stuff. As a kid, I played over here on these train tracks all day long. Uh, I, I can't imagine having my kid running around on train tracks um, at, you know, 10 years old, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old. Um, <clears throat> so I just went for a walk, trying to stretch my, my body out, get exercise. Um, I don't get a lot of exercise in the Philippines. Um, it's so damn hot. I hate I hate um, exercise in there. Uh, but I have to learn. I have to learn to start getting into a routine when I'm there, so I can keep my body fit. 
Um, and that's my goal right now is to get back into shape while I'm here. And um, I just went, um, I just went to um, uh, Whole Foods, did some shopping. I got a bag full of food, $150. Oh my God. It's like, oh my God, back to the expensive prices. Oh. I mean, I can't imagine spending $150 in one day on food in the Philippines. Um, and it's just a small bag. Uh, I'm just trying to, I stocked up on some fish, some salmon, some haddock, some scallops, and uh, I'll put them in the freezer and this way I'll have some uh, food for the next few weeks. So I, I did buy a little extra of that stuff. Um, I try to get some frozen stuff, some frozen vegetables because everyone touches everything over there. So I figured maybe I'm a little safer buying stuff that's frozen in a bag. Um, I got some vitamins. I'm gonna take some multivitamins and I got some black elderberry. That's supposed to be good for you. So try to prepare for the worst, hope for the best while I'm here. Um, it's still early. I'm heading back to the house and um, I'm gonna prepare some breakfast. So guys, thanks for keeping on, keeping up to date with us. 